Everyday Heroes is sponsored by the Great Greek Mediterranean Grill and Preferred Home Services. One of the leading experts on foreign policy in the Middle East was in town recently. I had the pleasure of talking with him for an extended exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. Ambassador Dennis Todd has worked under several presidents from George Bush, the first one, Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, playing a leading role in shaping U.S. involvement in the Middle East peace process. Hasn't been easy, hasn't always been successful, and to be certain, current tensions have made diplomacy even more difficult. What we have is we have a world that is characterized by multiple crises at the same time. Uh, and it's, it's more unsettling because of that. And the war in Ukraine, Ambassador Ross says, poses a threat this world has never seen. You, you never put somebody in the corner who has nuclear weapons. Right? You have to be very careful about how you proceed there. Ambassador Ross, who has spent 40 years trying to produce peace in the Middle East, says China may be the country that can impact the end of this war, saying the U.S. and China need to find common ground, and that's not wanting the use of nuclear weapons. It starts right now with with Putin, no one has more influence on Putin than China. They decide to say, that's it, we're cutting you off, then they're in serious trouble. In fact, that's the one thing that could actually probably trigger a coup against Putin. Ross argues President Putin miscalculated our response to this war because since Russia's war with Georgia in 2008, Crimea in 2014, and Russia going into Syria, the U.S. didn't really do anything. Our embarrassing withdrawal from Afghanistan didn't help. Basically, his view was, I watched. They didn't do anything, you know, and I'm going to win within two days. So they, they're going to huff and they're going to puff. They're going to, you know, they'll, they'll be tough rhetorically, but it won't mean anything, and it's going to be over in two days, and they'll adjust to the reality. That was his calculation, because he thought he was going to go in and he was going to change the landscape of Europe. Everything he thought, he, was, he thought wrong. He miscalculated completely. And if this war is to come to an end, Ross says both sides need to want it to end. And one of the things about mediation, you don't need the two sides to have a positive set of agreements to be able to mediate. What you need is for the two sides to be looking for a way out because the costs as they define them are too high. We don't have that yet. During our conversation, we talked about how closely other countries like North Korea and Iran are watching our response to Putin's war, as is Saudi Arabia, which cut oil production recently and seemingly sided with Russia, not us. Well, I think it's a big deal more in terms of making the decision to say no to us. And that, you know, it means it suggests the kind of leverage we need to have, we don't have. It suggests they don't have a hesitancy in terms of saying no, meaning they didn't feel they had a lot to lose. Uh, which I think is a miscalculation on their part. Ambassador Ross says we need to have a strategy toward Iran that is more convincing in terms of restoring Iranian fear in the United States and added our next biggest crisis could come not from the Middle East but from the Far East, China. I think there's a real danger of that. Uh, you know, it's one of, the one of the reasons I think that if China is different, a different kind of competitor, you know, during the Cold War, we had the Soviet Union. Uh, they were never an economic competitor. It was only military. China's both. It's a different kind of competitor. So we probably have to have a different approach to them. We need to come up with an approach that basically says, okay, we're going to compete. Okay, we're not going to shy away from competing. But let's look at these areas where we have common interests. We need to create a set of understandings with them that allows us to manage our competition. Learned a lot during that conversation. Ambassador Dennis Ross currently serves as a William Davidson Distinguished Fellow at the Washington Institute for Near East Policy. If you'd like to nominate an everyday hero, email me, bclark at wcbd.com, or you can just go to our website, countonto.com, and hit the Everyday Heroes link.